Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I'm so excited. Last night, we got dumped on. The snow is the most I have ever seen in American Fork for the last 20 something years and it's still snowing so who knows how much we're gonna get but it is amazing we have on top of the car I'm not kidding you on top of the car we have 18 inches of snow I know some of that's part of the the wind but I drove last night at 11 to 30 I got excuse me at 11 30 I got home and between 11 30 and 7 o'clock this morning when I had to take my daughter to school we had that much snow <laughs> it was so awesome absolutely love it and they got me thinking about what to talk about today and to share with you is the importance of just enjoying life i looked outside and i let my dog out and we just got a dog for christmas and i let my dog out and he just takes off running and this <laughs> so he's not a large dog but he's a medium-sized dog and he's running through the snow and you see half of his body just <laughs> disappear and he's just just jumping and bouncing around like a rap just having a blast and I thought wow if the lessons we could learn from a dog to have fun to go out and to get yourself buried in the snow for lack of a better term go out and have fun and immerse yourself and bury yourself in something that's going to be fun and enjoyable for you. Not anybody else, not for anybody else, but for you. I just looked out the window here, and my kids, they're shoveling off the trampoline, <laughs> and they've got a huge pile of snow that now goes all the way up to the top of the trampoline, and they're jumping off into it, and they're just having fun. Our children, our animals, they are teaching us a valuable lesson to have fun have fun for you and what is it that you want to do that would be fun what's sad is a lot of times after people start getting a little older they don't really know what they want to do for fun they don't know what they want to do to go take a break it might be kind of the similar thing is you know just a bath a massage you know things like that but really push yourself have fun what is it that you can do today to just make today a little bit more fun and do that but do it for you not because oh this will be fun with the kids or oh this will be fun with my my spouse or oh this will be fun with a friend or what would be fun for you and if you don't know what that would be, take some time to write down and to start thinking about that. Start discovering what you really enjoy. This is a, a discovery phase my wife is in right now. Is she's trying to decide what it is she really likes to do. Now I love playing sports and I play volleyball. And I do that as a release, but I also do it for fun. And she, I said, what is it you like to do? And she says, I, I don't know. And I thought, that is more frequent than not, that people don't know what they want to do to have fun. So take the time today, take 15, 20 minutes, and write the things down that would help you to have fun. And if you can't think of any, go back to when you were a kid and start there. What was it? that you'd like to do to have fun then. And then ex expand on that. See if any of those things would be fun now. And maybe it's taking a trip. But discover so that you can learn to enjoy life. Have fun with life. It's wonderful if you allow it to be. So have fun with it. Enjoy it. Write that list and then start doing that list. Start doing something that's going to be unique again. I'm going to leave you on this final note. I went to a presentation, and this guy, I can't remember his name, otherwise I would give him credit, but this is anonymous man <laughs> that I went to his presentation. 
many years ago, but it's always stuck with me. He says, do something today that is unexpected. And even within your, with your children. And I've gotten out of this a bit, but I think I'm going to, that's my challenge for this week is I'm going to do something and I'll report on it next week. That was just kind of fun. And one of the things that he would do is he sat at the table one time with his family around and said, okay, everybody put your forks and your spoons and all that, put it away. So you can only use your hands and your mouth to eat this dinner. And they had like mashed potatoes and all these other things that you would normally use a spoon. And the kids were like, are you serious, dad? He's like, yeah, you can't eat it with a silverware. And his wife was like, eh. he says, that includes you too. He talked about how everybody was just laughing and it was really a bonding moment and their kids have talked about it before. Well, we did something similar. One of my kids spilled milk when they were younger. <laughs> and it was all over the floor, just all over the floor. And I said, well, I guess you're going to have to lick it up. And they're like, oh, well, we had just cleaned the floor, so I wasn't worried about that. But I got down and I said, yeah, you got to be like a dog and start licking it up. And all of us got down and we're licking up this milk. I know it sounds disgusting, but we still remember that to this day. My wife took some photos of it, and it's some of the cherished photos that we look back and go, oh, remember that? That's what fun does. It gives us experiences that we can remember and share with for the rest of our life. Go out and create your list. The importance of fun helps to also release the negative emotion that we build up inside. I was talking with an individual this morning and she was talking about how she's going through some pretty hard stuff right now. And through this therapy process, they've discovered all the junk, but now what do you do with that junk? The best thing you could do when you have this junk is you've got to build yourself up. And you build yourself up by having fun. So that would be my challenge for you, is to go out and have fun. Do something that is going to get you laughing, laughing hysterically. And don't think that you're too old to do something extremely childish. Matter of fact, I was watching a video the other day, and these adults had this headband thing on, and they had like a wire that was sticking out and at the end of this wire, there were different kinds of suckers and things like that. And they had to get it in their mouth. And <laughs> here they are trying to do it, you know, swinging it back and forth. That's what we did as kids. You're never too old. Never too old. Go out and be a child. Have fun. You're amazing. Believe it. Have a fantastic day.